Grade 6 Math, number 7.7, .7, Samples and Surveys. A survey is a method of gathering information about a group. They're usually made up of questions or items that need responses or answers, and we can survey the population of a city. If we survey only part of the population, it's called a sample. A bias is a way of thinking, a perspective that is partial to a certain way of thinking. It's a preference for one thing over another, so we have to be careful of bias when we're doing surveys. Well, there are different sampling methods. It's a way to choose a sample of a population. We have random sampling, where anyone can be surveyed, anything can be surveyed. It would be like surveying people by an assigned number and then picking the numbers by computer. That would be random. Convenience sampling is when you sample people or things that are nearby or easily available. You survey people at a mall. That's pretty convenient. Systematic sampling is when you choose a random person or thing to survey, and then you use a pattern to choose additional people or things. If you surveyed a house address, and then you surveyed every fourth address after that, that would be systematic. You'd have a system of your survey sampling, see? Bob wanted to survey people about large and small cars, and he wanted to find which people preferred, so which survey would be best. Well, random sampling. If he only asked young single people, they might be biased towards small cars, because that's all they need. If he asked only large families, they might be biased towards large cars. So random sampling would be the best, because now he can get an idea of all the types of cars. Tala wanted to survey the quality of products her company was manufacturing. So which survey would be best? Systematic sampling. She could check every 50th item for quality to just see systematically how they're doing. Emma needed to survey people to see if she would have enough business if she opened a coffee house at a particular intersection. She did convenience sampling so that she could ask people walking by that location how they felt about a coffee house being there. The U.S. Census does systematic sampling. By participating, people help their community by letting the city know how many schools or parks to build by the number of children in the census results. The city will know how big hospitals it should be, or how many hospitals, or how big an airport should be, or how many vaccines will be needed in case of an outbreak. Every 10 years, the U.S. Census mails a survey to every resident in the United States. It's really important you fill it out because you're going to only help your community with information. The next town over might get a better park or a bigger park or bigger schools because they filled it out and your town didn't, and they'll end up with better things. So the next census will be sent out in the year 2020. After that, it'll be 2030, then 2040. They do it on every round decade. They've been doing it since the 1700s, and you can actually find your genealogy by checking the census records on websites like Ancestry.com. Did you know that? Yeah, you can actually find out about your ancestors. The records are closed for decades until they feel people have passed away so that none of your private information will be shown to the public. So that's surveys and samples and bias. And now I hope you understand them and you'll be able to do your work in your Go Math book. Okay? We're going to talk about investigative surveying next. I'll see you there. Bye.